Good evening folks, uh, Mark Wilson here at the Fan Cave. Um, it is 11.56 p.m. May 8th, 2017. What I have today is a uh, New Tone Veranda Deluxe, one of my uh, all-time favorite ceiling fans. So a uh, major childhood fan for me. Um, so, uh, you know, it's needless to say it's not for sale or trade and never will be for sale or trade. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, um, uh, acquired this from a fellow fan collector, uh, Brandon C. Johnson, um, bought it yesterday from him, and, uh, so yeah, it's, um, antique brass finish with, uh, the rare stenciled blade pattern, so, uh, um, yeah, this is a major major want I've had for a long time and uh you know I was ecstatic to have uh finally acquired one. So started off on high. Now this is a I guess you call it a, a two speed, one regular high speed and one variable speed. So uh turn it around so you can see the, the knob right here, you know the variable speed control. So uh yeah let's turn it on to high first. Five point four miles per hour is the uh, wind speed according to the anemometer. And you've got the variable speed. I have that set to high right now, or as high as the variable speed will go. is 4.7 miles per hour and this goes all the way down to very very slow and this actually shuts it off I mean the buzz it's still buzzing but it's not uh, actually moving so I'm gonna turn it a notch higher than that so you can see that it actually is you know as slow as it'll go without stopping, basically. You know, it has that, I uh, don't know if you can hear it on film or not, but there's a buzz. Motor makes that nice uh, buzzing sound, which I like myself. But, yeah, I can see how it can be annoying to some people, I guess. Which is why these get tend to get uninstalled quite a bit. Which is an advantage for me, because I absolutely adore these fans. Especially when it comes to the Telltale New Tone switch housing cap. And now for the spin down, I want to, uh, yeah, these, uh, not sure if I've told you the story before, but uh, these fans are very, uh, you know, these verandas with the switch cap are very uh, meaningful to me as far as uh, 
made your childhood fans and wow that was a quick spin down but um yeah there was a um yeah, quite a few places that had them i remember as a kid uh, in this color there in this you know in this finish there was a um uh my great grandmother lived in a uh nursing home and uh every saturday my dad and i would go to visit her uh from uh basically uh from, you know as young as i can remember until i was about i think it was about 10 when she died and uh yeah and the there was sort of an i used to call it like a cafeteria slash activity room kind of a actually i don't even remember if that was a cafeteria or not there were a lot of uh yeah a lounge i guess you'd call it and um there was I'm trying to keep the fan in view there we go but uh Shut this hideous light off. Ah, I can see again. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah, there were two of these in this finish. I don't remember if it had st if they had stenciled blades or not. I think they may have. But, um, definitely remember the, uh, switch housing cap. Um, you know, and, uh, just absolutely loving the fans. Stopping by and looking at them every time we'd, you know, we'd leave. And, uh, um, there was a bakery in town here and uh the when i was a kid it had um it had one of these in this finish um you know uh always spinning on low as i recall and uh you know going there uh when i was a kid and you know get a uh i don't know a little meringue cookie or whatever i get back then and uh the uh you know always had the nice nice fan there the veranda and um, there was a, uh, uh, from time to time, um, you know, my, uh, when we go over to my, my dad's boss had a house that, uh, actually before he was his boss and he was just a friend, they had, uh, uh a sunroom and in their sunroom they had a, um, veranda. I honestly don't remember if it was polished brass or antique brass, but, uh, had a big globe light out in the sunroom and uh in fact it here we go do a little so it had the had the globe light on there and uh i always uh you know i remember they had the wall switch so i'd go and turn it on you know the solid state control and uh it uh made quite a buzzing sound but uh i i loved seeing that fan every time i'd go over you know uh um, you know, and, uh, they just, you know, I'd keep Mark occupied while they were talking business and do what they were doing, you know, just go out there and, <laughs> and look at the ceiling fan, and, uh, yeah, that, that's, I was easily amused, uh, as I still am today, and, uh, there was a, also the, the local, uh, pizza place slash sub shop had, uh, two of these, but they were in the, um, antique, uh, the polished brass and brown configuration, um, and, uh, I absolutely love those fans, and then, they're, they're long gone now, the place doesn't even have any fans now, but, um, it's been renovated ten times over since the, you know, 80s, but, uh, the, um, yeah, I'm, I'm dying to get one in that, uh, in that color scheme, so, uh, if you have one, I will buy it, and if you have two, I will buy them, if you have infinite number, I will buy them. Or trade you something really cool for them. So uh, definitely let me know. And I'm always on the hunt for these. This is one fan that I'm dying to get. You know, just as many as I can get. Uh, but the, um, there's a few of them as well. Like Blender fans. Uh, Dayton Lascos. Dying to get some Dayton Lascos. But uh, as well. Um, you know, uh, there are very few fans I can justify bringing into the fan cave right now. This is one of them. So uh, anyway, yeah. Thanks a lot for watching. Um... Please do click like on this video if you have, in fact, enjoyed it. Um, subscribe to my page if you would, and check out my uh, Facebook page, also called The Fan Cave. Um, thanks a lot again for watching. Good night and good luck. We're going to need it.